Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers should exercise caution when watching this program, as it may contain images of deceased persons. Imagine your whole life changing in a moment as you are taken away from your family and your mob. Tony Hansen shares his story of the stolen generations. Tony Hansen, better known as Tonji, to the Aboriginal community. Um, Noongar man from the southwest of West Australia, been connected to Wilman tribe and the southwest Bajara tribe. Around 1970, at the age of three, I uh, was taken away from my mother and, and my grandparents. I was taken away uh, in a vehicle, in a welfare car with strange white people that I'd never met before. At that stage of my life, I guess it was um, a very scary ordeal, um, strange experience. It took me down the road of uh, being placed in an institution that was called Carolup in the early days, but later on in life became known as Maribank Mission. I went into the mission in 1968 and I was there for a couple of years and then I went to school in Katanning and it was at school that I first seen Tony. When I reflect back on it I can um, remember looking in the back of the car window as we drove away from the Native Welfare Office in Katanning and across the railway lines. Um, in the distance I see my grandparents um, and then all of a sudden we were gone down the road heading out to the mission. We were each other's support and strength and um, a lot of other mission kids they came and went, came and went. Tonji was there for the majority of the time that I stayed there and that's why we still have that connection today. He still um, listens out for like not only myself but other brothers and sisters that have been in the mission so Tonji was like a little brother and it's good to still catch up with him today and even though he's bigger than me he's still my little brother so yeah and I'm pleased to see him every time we catch up in Perth. I'm a committee member of the Carolup Elders Reference Group and we gather and meet as often as we can uh, throughout the year to talk about some of the issues, talk about where we'd like to go and you know where we see the work that we're putting into the not just the artworks but keeping hold of the history and ensuring that the message is getting out there to community. Overall it's in the best interest of what it, what it is for the artworks and the Carolup Mission and Maribank Mission together. The artworks um, mean a lot to me because these young kids uh, in their early days of the Carolop days, um, you know, invested their time and energy into drawing these artworks and these paintings. Um, we came both from different eras but I guess at the end of the day we all came from the one location and to me and I guess to the Carolop children and their families, I guess that's home to us as young kids that um, spent many years at this location. I think if you spent one day there or 15 years, it's still home and we have a connection there. For my, my life moving forward, I just see myself, you know, doing the best I can do in the community, being a leader for the community, for my family and uh, being a role model. I don't take no day for granted. I like to, you know, give out as much as I can in the community, but also um, continue to have that focus on the mission journey as well.